let's take a look at how to identify representative, random, and biased samples. The mayor of a small town wants to know how well she is liked. Mayor Grace surveys her own neighborhood to see who likes her. Is the sample going to be biased? Okay, well notice if she wants to know how everybody in the town feels about her, her sample should be a random sampling of everyone in the town. She only sampled her own neighborhood. So that is a problem that's going to be biased because the people that live really close to her might know her better. So they might have a different opinion than the town at large. Mason asks all the children in the neighborhood if they enjoy going to the park. Is this sample biased of the neighborhood's children's view of the park? Okay, well notice he asked every children, every child in the neighborhood, right? All the children in the neighborhood. So everybody's opinion was included. So no, that's not biased. Madison chose five students at random from every class in her grade to rate the material being taught. Is this sample likely to be representative of all the students in her grade? Well, she chose five students from every class at random. So it seems like she did do a nice random sample. Five is a little bit small of a sample size, but it should still be okay. So yes, it should be representative of all the students. Madison has 15 marbles in a bag and she grabs out 13 with her eyes closed. Is this an example of a random sample? Well, yeah, if she closed her eyes and just picked 13, then she doesn't know which marble she's gonna get. So yes, that would be random. At the airport, the computer system uses a number generator to flag individuals for extra screening. Will this be a random sample? Yes, so notice it's a number generator. So that means the computer is programmed to randomly pick certain numbers. So that's actually better than having someone stand there and decide who they want to flag because they might be like, hmm, I think that person looks suspicious. And then they might be bringing their own bias into it. So yes, the number generator is a nice random sample. Dahlia collects some statistics from all the kids in grade one on how much they like the school. Is this a random sample of students in the school? Okay, well, I'm going to assume that the school has more than just first grade, right? If there's only grade one was sampled or first grade, depending on where you're from, you might say first grade or grade one. She didn't survey the students in grade two or grade three, other students that would also be in that school. So no, it's not a random sample because they did not include students from all the grades. If there are 47 ponds around a lake and biologists study 37 of them randomly to check the health of the water around the lake, is that a biased sample? Well, no, they randomly picked a large number of those ponds, so that should be okay. That's not biased. Elizabeth interviewed every member of her family. Will the results be representative of her family? Well, yes, if you, if you interview everybody in the family, then those results represent the whole family, so yes. Grace chose five students at random from every class in her grade to rate the material being taught. Is the sample likely to be representative of all the students in her grade? Well, yeah, if she's randomly picking students, that should be a good representative sample. At the airport, the computer system uses a number generator to flag individuals for extra screening. Will this be a random sample? Well, remember we said yes, if it's being screened um, by a number generator, those numbers are coming up randomly. So let's say yes.
If there are 76 ponds around a lake and biologists study 60 of them randomly to check the health of the water, is that a biased sample? Well, no, they're picking those at random, so that should be okay. Not biased. A researcher has six different exams, and for each participant, they roll a dice and give them the corresponding test number. Will they get a random sample of tests? Okay, well, yeah, they're picking the exam randomly, so yes, they should. Is picking names that are all on the same size pieces of paper out of a hat to win a car a random sample? Well, yes, if we're picking the name without reading it, we don't know what name we're going to get, so that should be at random. Noah put equal sized marbles into a bowl. Then he shook the bowl until 11 marbles fell out. Is this a random sample of the marbles? Well, yes, he doesn't know what 11 marbles he's going to get. He shook it up, so they're all mixed in there, and then he's getting 11 of them randomly. The government asks all the millionaires in the country if taxes are too high. Is this a random sample of the population? Okay, well, there's a problem with this one. If it's a random sample of the population, they should be randomly picking people who make all different types of income. If they're only asking millionaires, then that's going to be biased. It's not a random sample because millionaires might have a different opinion than everybody else. 